in this video i'm gonna show you how you can actually overlay a zoom chat so basically people sending in messages or chatting in zoom and you actually want to highlight some of the messages to where everybody actually can see so just like this to be able to do this obviously you may be actually live streaming the zoom meeting on youtube using obs or you could actually do the same thing using obs actually take it back to the zoom meeting simply by you know getting the virtual camera from obs and sending back to zoom so let's not take much time let's see how you can get this done what's going on guys my name is sam live production tips and tools here if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's navigate the live streaming and video recording world together today we're gonna be talking about this tool called social stream ninja that you can actually use to highlight messages in zoom meetings this actually could work in teams as well and so many other different platforms like youtube facebook live and i've done some videos about those platforms i'm gonna link some in the description if you want to take a look but for today we're gonna focus on zoom okay so we're gonna go ahead and start a zoom meeting right now i'm actually going to choose my actual camera this is my zoom app but to be able to do this i'm actually gonna have ob is opened as well because i think this is gonna be useful and i'm gonna, going to actually uh, enable or start virtual camera within obs and i'm gonna go back to my zoom and i'm gonna go to video source and i'm gonna choose uh obs virtual camera as my video input and as you can see you can see my image and for the audio part again you can go ahead and choose whatever you want I think this is not going to be the main focus of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and actually click to the link for, you know, to be able to invite people uh, right here and go to invite and I'm going to go to copy invite link. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the invite link. The most important part here, we need to have the zoom. Uh, actually meaning running through the browser okay so you can't use the app even though i started using the app is because i needed that to kind of start the meeting but for this tool to work you're gonna need to use the, actually the browser okay zoom is asking me to use the app so i'm gonna say cancel okay and then i'm gonna say launch and then it's gonna ask me again and i'm gonna say cancel the second time so once you do it uh twice usually you should get this option that say don't have zoom client installed download now or you have uh, another option that says uh join from your browser okay so we're gonna go ahead and actually click join from your browser okay so we are going to join using our browser okay now it's gonna ask you some permission so go ahead and, and give it a permission to actually use your microphone and whatever you may have and then let's put our name so i'm gonna put sam this is my name here okay so we're gonna go ahead and actually choose the video source that we want to use and we're gonna click join okay so now we are in the meeting okay what we're gonna do we're gonna go back to the app because it's, it's asking me to admit so i'm gonna admit myself into the meeting okay so as you can see we get uh my virtual camera kind of coming into the meeting okay that's the virtual camera from obs and we get my camera from the browser actually coming in here so I, again i can go ahead and change my video source uh, because i don't like the video source that i'm using right now so i can go ahead and actually uh, choose uh, my capture card which is gonna be usb video boom so as you can see now i've got my capture card here and i've got the big video coming from obs so this is just to show you like this is a guest and then we got another person we got two people in the meeting okay let me actually go to OBS and actually change this input to something like maybe like this. Yeah, just uh, so it makes sense a little bit. There we go. So we got two guests in here, me and me, uh, me and me number two. Anyway, so we need now to access the chat in here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and actually uh, go to chat. Okay, and we're going to send some messages. Say hello hello 
hello this is sam now we are going to get the chat tool okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a link to the download page right now in my description so all you have to do is just go to that link it's gonna take you to the download page okay so once you click to it, you're gonna get to a page that looks like this by the way i'm gonna put even like download link that you can actually click when you click to it it's going to directly download the file so you don't need to kind of pass through the page but if you want to pass through the page this is what you're gonna get okay this is steve the guy who made the chat too and you're gonna go on the top here okay code you're gonna go to download uh the zip file okay so let's go ahead and download it okay so the good thing about this tool, it's actually a Chrome extension. So it's not gonna be a problem. Either use a Mac or PC, you're gonna be able to use uh, this tool. So once you download it, you're gonna get this little file into your download folder. The next thing you have to do, you're gonna go to open your Chrome browser, you know, as usual, go to extensions and let's go to manage extension. So once you have access to your extensions, what you're gonna do, go to developer mode, okay? So it's important you have to toggle this. It has to be on developer mode, okay? Very important. Once you're there, it's gonna give you these options here. Load unpacked, okay? Click uh, the folder that we downloaded and you should be able to install it. And as you can see now, it's working, okay? It's kinda installed. So this is what it looks like. Now, to be able to use it and be able to actually see it here on the top, as you can see, if I go to my extension icon here, it's right here, okay? So as you can see, it shows up here. Now, to be able to have it already kinda ready for you, you need to click this pin kind of thing so you're gonna be able to pin it right here you're gonna click here as you can see the icon is already here so now that we have everything downloaded uh, you can see the chat tool is actually here click to it okay so this is uh, when you click to it this is enabled that means the chat tool is on this is off okay so we want to make sure we keep it on we have the dockable streaming chat link and we have single message overlay link if i click to this dockable link okay what you're gonna see basically every time i send some messages in zoom here let me say hello again messages are coming in so all the messages from zoom so these are like people who are in the room kind of chatting now we need to go to obs because if i go to the chat tool here to the icon okay i can click to the single message overlay okay so basically what this one does is every time i click to one of the messages or highlight one of the messages it's actually going to show up here i'm gonna go back to obs here and i'm going to actually add a new scene okay so i'm gonna go ahead just show you everything so i'm gonna call it zoom and on this scene i'm gonna go ahead and actually bring my main camera here which is gh5 so we got our scene called zoom okay and i'm gonna bring my camera as well so i'm gonna paste my camera okay so i'm gonna go ahead and actually um go to add a browser source okay and i'm gonna call it chat okay zoom and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click okay i'm gonna go back to the chat tool here and i'm gonna click and i'm gonna choose this single message overlay link okay and i'm gonna copy it okay so i'll go back to obs paste the link in here and then i'm gonna make it 1920 by uh, about 400 and that's our chat tool should appear here okay so basically you can actually resize it to any size that you want uh, depending on what it looks like okay now you can see the dark the messages are showing is because i already have the dark okay so but i'm gonna show you how to get this dark as well so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to the chat tool right here and you're gonna go to, to the dark about streaming chat link this is why you need to have the dark in obs so that you can actually control or see the messages in obs okay and you're gonna go to custom browser docs okay and you're gonna go here and you're gonna click and you know just name it whatever you want put the link in here so basically you're gonna bring the link that we just got so let me call it uh, zoom chat click apply 
okay and then close and the dock is going to appear and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it anywhere you want and then lock ui just to make sure nobody it doesn't move assuming i'm the other guest okay the camera is a little squeezed uh but i'm assuming it's because i'm using the same camera on the same computer so that should not be an issue so let's say hello again what's up so i'm gonna just type anything let's put in the chat we're gonna go ahead and actually open obs and as you can see all the messages either people using app or using the browser all the messages are coming in the only thing you need to make sure one of you guys or whoever is running this tool has the browser option open okay if you're trying to do through the app it's not gonna work i can click to any message that i want okay and boom you can see the message is actually appearing here if i go to my browser web browser you can see that messages are kind of coming in i can actually close the chat i can make a full screen and boom as you can see the message is here so as somebody you know just on a zoom call i can see all the questions and stuff like that boom being featured on the screen which is super super cool so guys this is how you do it again if you have questions let me know there's so many things you can do with this tool you can actually make it auto so you can click here and actually every time somebody's gonna send or people sending in chat it's going to be kind of playing or showing on the screen so again i'll invite you to check my other videos that i made about this chat tool i'll put them in my description for you guys to kind of take a look but other than that if you're running zoom you could actually get this feature and i think this is gonna be a game changer again thanks to steve the guy who made this tool so i'm gonna put uh in my description his uh, youtube channels link as well so you can check him out he's the guy behind this tool if you have questions comments or anything you would like to suggest him maybe to improve put it down in the comments i will uh, happily forward to him if it's something that i can actually help you with but other than that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on my next video take care